All right, good morning, Keller Williams. Happy Friday on this beautiful day. This beautiful day. Steve, you predicted this weather perfectly. I love it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And I, Dan, we need to see more cameras on. Come on, you beautiful people. I know. Come on now. It's Friday. We got Rachel Hallis in the house. All right. We got April Ferry. We got Silva. We got Alice. We got Dave. Jennifer, Tony, come on. Let's see some more smiling faces. Come on, Alex. I want to see that sweet New York loft that you're uh, hanging out in this week. All right. So it's Friday. You know we're going to start with our high fives. Um, we got to get our energy in the right place to start the day. So let's start and kick off with our gratitudes me 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 pick me uh, 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 okay. sorry silva sorry okay. silva i'm just gonna go really fast so hands down total gratitude to april fury for what she did last night the kw cares kickoff gala kickoff was incredible this woman is a professional gala thrower it is amazing <laughs> and it's going to be a huge success and if you don't know what i'm talking about connect with april and find out oh man all right. Can, Silver, can we watch? Can, can we watch the replay for last night, please? I mean, <laughs> we did record it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. So You're yeah, welcome. the energy is through the roof. I have to share it with you guys. I want to give you all my energy out, um, and this way I get more. I have gratitude for people, for all the people who love me, who like me, who smile at me, who are asking me for advice, who keep me going, and all of them are my diamonds, guys. If there is no pressure, there are no diamonds. And trust me, I'm under pressure all day long, but I learned how to handle it. And it's all thanks to you guys. And uh, if in case you haven't noticed, it's actually at the end of the day, all about me. <laughs> Love, it. Love it. All right. Who else has some gratitude? Who else wants to get that energy up this morning? Unmute yourself so I know you want to share and I'll call you out. If not, you know what I do? I'm just going to start calling on people because I know there are people in here that are feeling the love, that are feeling the gratitude. All right, April, you're up. I'll, I'll have some gratitude. Um, oh, yeah, you got a heart too. Um, I just have gratitude uh, for everybody that showed up and supported Kim Trumba and I yesterday at three o'clock for the social committee. We had over 20 people on the call. So we're really super excited about that. Um, and I'm also just very grateful for everybody that joined me on Zoom as well as in the Zoom room in Ridgefield last night to find out just a little bit more about our KW Cares fundraiser. Family Reunion is gonna be off the hook for finding people to sponsor and donate. And I'm super excited. And I just loved all the energy that everybody brought to the table last night, including Love Wilson. <laughs> Love it. All right, Mendez, you're up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, disregard my background. Uh, I just have a lot of gratitude for. No, you can't disregard MJ. Come on now. <laughs> um, but uh, I have a lot of gratitude for uh, Margaret. She gave me a a super super great idea. Um, and also I'm really grateful for everyone that signed up for my seminar. We are currently over. I think we just touched 220 people that signed up so far for Woo! next Friday. So yeah, love it. Love it. All right. Who else has some gratitude? We're breaking records today. No pressure, no diamonds. All right. Listen, the, the, the theme of the day is pressure. So I will put pressure on people to share. All right. I'm going to go Tammy Kranich. I know Tammy's always got gratitude. Can't hear you, Tammy. I'm not sure why. It doesn't look like you're muted. You have people with their hands up, Dan. Yeah, I didn't see that until after the fact, though, Jen. I already called out Tammy, so it's not, now she's got to go. I can't, I can't hear her though. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to Anna until Tammy can fix her mic. I, <clears throat> sorry, I have gratitude to KW that I, I was able to join um, family reunion online. <laughs> I think because Tammy's back. She came in, coming in hot. All right, hold on, Anna. Why don't you finish up, Anna? Yes. Yep. There you go. Yes, uh, because I uh, 
this year I wasn't able to join, but I'm very happy and very excited to know more information, get a lot of classes. So very, very grateful because as a mom, we have a lot of you know stuff going on. So very excited. And again, very big thing for um, online family reunion. So that's Love my back. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. All right, Tammy, I think I, I think you got your mic fixed because we, yeah. we, we heard you coming in hot. Oh, all right, good. Because I, I just got to do webcam, so that's why I wasn't sure which is working here. So, okay. Um, so my gratitude is to April. I thought I was just going to another KW party, and I was probably going to be roped into writing a check. And, you know, I was really impressed with what this KW Cares is about, and I'm actually, like, super excited. And I really, I, I plan on doing my part, so... You know, I never really, I mean, I kind of understood what it was about, but I never really got the get grasp of it. And April just has this way of making you want to do things. So I'm grateful for that. Love it. Love it. I love the new mic you're using or whatever it is, whatever oh, vocal so effect you have. Like, it ma like it makes you sound like a rock star. All right. Good. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> love it. All right, Lydia. Oh, I have gratitude for Rashi who I called out of um, the blue, haven't seen for a while since haven't been in the market center so much and wasn't familiar with an area that a client wanted me to take them to and called him up and he was just so gracious and told me, you know, all about the areas, et cetera, what to pay attention to. Um, so that was awesome. So thank you for the support. Love it, love it. All right, Sydney. I have some gratitude for one of my clients. I won't say his name, but um, I showed him, you know, probably eight or nine houses. We haven't, we have, we have not gotten an accepted offer yet. Um, we've been declined a few times, but he was so gracious and, and he was so grateful to for what I had done, just doing my job. Basically, he he gave me, he gave me a really really expensive bicycle. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, definitely a. Uh, I wasn't definitely wasn't expecting that. And, you know, I, I was just doing my job, but the idea that what you give comes back to you tenfold um, is, is true. So, you know, I, I want to say thank you to him. Um, and, you know, I want to send the message out there to everybody that, you know, sometimes it feels like you're grinding, you're showing houses and the return may not necessarily be immediate, but just keep digging. People appreciate you. And the more you, whatever you give to people, it comes back to you two or three times over. Love it. Love that message today. All right, Capizzoli, you're up. Hey, sorry, uh, my, my camera's off. I told you my loft is a little dirty today, so I didn't want yeah, uh, anyone yeah, judging yeah. me. Um, I got gratitude for our uh, our referral um, in uh, a referral base in command. I, I, I hooked some friends up with an agent in New Hampshire. They're looking to sell their house and buy a new one. And I went through and I found a rainmaker and uh, I called and vetted him. We talked for like 20 minutes and connected them and they called me and they said, I don't know where you found this guy, but he's an absolute rock star. He's got a real hands on, no bullshit approach. And he seems like he's going to be the best person that we've ever worked with. This is our third uh, transaction and uh, you did a fantastic job. He, he spoke really highly of you. He said that he, he felt like interrogated and was like sweating when you guys had a conversation about the amount of care and time that he's going to take with helping us with our transaction. And uh, we're just really thankful and thanks so much for looking out for us. And it was really cool to be able to do that. And like, you know, it took me 30 minutes to find them, 20 minute conversation. And now they're off to the races. So very, very Love thankful it. and grateful for our referral network. It is one of the most power. It is one of the most powerful tools that we have for, for, for bringing in additional income for all of our agents. You can literally, there's no excuse now. I've, I've, I can't tell you how many agents I've heard saying, oh, like my business is down this year because like all of my sellers are moving out of town. So like, I'm not getting as many of those sell by transactions. And I'm like, what do you mean? Why is your business down? Why aren't you getting those referrals from where, from wherever they're going or wherever they're buying? And it's because they don't have access to a resource like we do with our KW referral networking command. You can literally find the best agents, get their contact information, connect with them, and then also just send the referral information through it. I love it. I love it. All right, Kate Kubasek. Hello. All right. Um, I was just saying uh, I wanted to have a lot of gratitude for 
Uh, Barb Boffman, my partner, I feel like she's been pushing me a lot lately, which is always good to kind of step outside my comfort zone. And then for Ignite, this week was awesome. And for John, for helping me um, get all the links to all the morning meetings um, so I can be listening while I'm doing stuff and feel like I'm uh, growing exponentially as it's happening. Um, and for the flexibility and everybody let me bring the baby everywhere. I really appreciate her being able to come with me to all the meetings and everything. It makes it a lot easier. So thank you. We, we, we actually appreciate you bringing the baby. I, I hope you realize that, right? It's not, I love it's the like, baby. We, we like when you bring the baby, Kate. <laughs> I wanted Love to it. auction off the baby last night. 20 minutes to like, <laughs> snuggle with the baby. Five, five dollars. Who wants $5? Love it. Love it. All right, it Debbie. Like lyrics. You got to keep it quick this morning, though, Debbie. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I'm just grateful to be walking my dog. I have a dog. Silva has always told me, why you walk in the rain? So I see. Thank you, Silva. I love walking in the rain. But what I want to say is I'm grateful to all the KW Adonis who's helping my daughter, myself, at Keller Williams. I'm also grateful. You never know who you meet in your life. We went to a happy hour at Hudson Grill like last year. The guy sitting at the bar, we just started talking. He's like, God sent you. I want to list my condo. I listed his condo at 1611 Washington Boulevard. I got 40,000 over the asking. He's wow. like, I gotta come and treat all your friends. The guy comes to find out his family owns six Dunkin' Donut franchise. Wow. Oh my God, I was grateful who joined me yesterday at the happy hour at Hudson Grill. So way, good for that. Love what it, you give out comes back. Coming in <laughs> hot again, I love it. All right, yes. Brett, you gotta bring us home now. <laughs> are you talking to me yes all right Brett. You're oh, gonna hey, hey dan hey everybody yeah super great week um uh very grateful for uh rick and ignite very grateful uh to have connected with april this week i'm super excited to be working um with her on her uh event and also to joe uh, with command and i just randomly i'm still doing my contacts and getting my contacts in my in my command and I reached out to a former makeup agent of mine that moved to Sarasota and I told her, oh, I'm with Keller Williams now, I'm a real estate. And she goes, I'm with Keller Williams. So I'm like, okay, so that was good. It's just like, like the woman before I said, you just never know, just make the call, connect. And so now I've, you know, the referral thing, I'm working on the referrals, I wanna do more open houses. And so, yeah, pretty amped up, great week. Thanks guys. Love it, love it. All right, I'm gonna run through the calendar real quick because um, we got some fun stuff coming up next week. We've got our uh, CMA Mastermind. We got all of our tech training as well. We're starting a new book club next week with the one thing. Read up to page, I believe it's 96 by Monday. So if you want, if you enjoyed the MREA book club, um, start reading the one thing. We're gonna discuss that at 11 a.m. on Monday. We've got our Valentine's Day party uh, that's gonna be held in the Stanford Market Center. Um, from 3 to 6 p.m. on Monday as well. All right, we've got Ignite continuing next week. And listen, we have a really big and really, really exciting service that we are really excited to launch to, to, the, to the entire organization. Um, you know, we, we're always looking for ways to uh, create more support for all of you um, and, and, and create more opportunities for all of you. So we have a new marketing partner that we're going to be, that we're working with. We just brought them on. And we would love for all of you to be on in the Zoom room at one o'clock on Tuesday to learn about these services. These, th this company will literally do like everything, like, like all the marketing that you, that you need for your business. They, will, they can create like anything you need it, and, and it's free for all of you. Like you don't have to pay them for any of it. Like there's no cost associated to it. Donna Gilbert's face just like blew up. She was like, what? I love that. Um, <laughs> Here's all right. So I saw one o'clock on Tuesday. Write it down, guys. Don't all right. write it down. Put it, put it in, in your, your phone. Calendar. Write it Don't on your it. calendar. I mean, I'm using both of them, so I'm writing it everywhere. All right. I've got it on my wall next to me. Don't miss one o'clock on Tuesday. Okay. Um, and then yeah, we'll just stick with that for now. Okay. So um, last thing, no pressure, no diamonds. I'm gonna wrap this up quickly because it's already 9:15. 
Again, I've been leaning heavy into the 306090 program that Steve and I are doing right now is uh, through um, through Maps Coaching. And yesterday was a mind blowing like conversation around our goals. And he said, "Are you when you're when you're meeting with agents and when you're this and when you're writing your goals for the market center, are you talking incremental goals, or are are you talking exponential goals? How big are you actually thinking?" And and it made and it started making you think like it, so an agent who does a million dollars in sales and sets a goal for two million dollars in sales, well, they don't have to do anything different to do that. They just might have to work a little harder or get a little lucky. But what about an agent who's doing $2 million in sales and sets a goal for $20 million in sales? Now you're talking exponential thinking. And the quote that I loved from our, from our, from our um, coaching session yesterday, yesterday is, is your goal big enough where you have to change in order to achieve it? Do you have to change as a person in order to achieve it? Do you have to learn entirely new skills or get access to entirely new resources or bring new people into your world to achieve it. That's what today's bold law is all about. Are the things that you're set, are the goals and the vision for your life creating pressure on you to create change? And if they're not, then I would ask the question, why? What is holding me back from thinking that big? A billionaire is thinking a thousand times bigger than a millionaire. Think about that. A thousand times bigger. He also then, he then asked, he goes, how many of you have ever been in a room with Gary Keller? We all raise our hands, right? He says, has there, has there ever been a moment in when you're having those conversations where you're just kind of like, what did he just say? Right? And you're like, huh? And that's the difference because Gary Keller as a billionaire is thinking a thousand or a million times bigger than some of the people in the room. So I would challenge, I would challenge you all to think bigger. Are you thinking exponentially? Do your goals scare you a little bit? Are they going to force you to have to change? Are they going to force you to become a different person, a better person than you are currently? Are they going to force you to seek out new knowledge, new resources? No pressure, no diamonds. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. Thank you for all, all for sharing. Be safe out there. Hopefully you can get home before everything turns to uh, an ice luge out there. And, um, you know, we all go sliding all over the place. I can't wait for all the YouTube videos and the Instagram stories. I'm sure it'll be hilarious and scary at the same time. But um, all right, be safe out there. And let's let's take this energy out into the weekend and sell some houses. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday.